Yo, what's up everyone, Ufo here, and today we are doing something very different. So you guys know the 2v2 giant snowball fight is out right now, and today we are actually going to be playing this challenge with myself. Now, as you guys can guess, 2v2 is normally two people versus two people, but it's going to be myself versus two people. I'm not gonna lie, I've done some test games, and this is a lot harder than you would think. But yo, this should be awesome. I really hope you guys go on to enjoy this. If you do, make sure you guys leave a like. Leaving a like always really helps out the channel plus you guys get a legendary card after you leave a like so smack that like button see if you get a legendary card yourself also while you're down there if you guys could subscribe that'd be awesome and without any further delay let's hop into this so to do this i have got two accounts and pretty much we have to do everything we have to draft for two people we have to play for two people we have to do absolutely everything it requires a lot of brain power i'm not going to lie but we are going to start it up here and hop into our first game and let's see what happens now you guys will only see the one screen but i can guarantee you it is myself since the other account is named mini ufo that's me first we're going to pick ram rider then we're going to pick minor poison and finally baby dragon okay on the other account i have the choice between snowball or arrows i'm going to pick arrows musketeer or archers i'm going to pick musketeer sparky or magic archer i'm going to pick sparky and finally inferno dragon or fisherman i'm picking the inferno dragon so this is interesting the account i got a number of these the one you guys are seeing is number one the other one is number two so number one has like some win conditions with the miner and the ram rider the second one's more supportive oh right away okay he goes with a man this is what i mean by it's hard he goes with a royal giant that's a good stove boy i actually predicted him a bit but yo i got the idea from this because i normally scream at my 2v2 opponents being like like, why didn't you do this at this time? And it's just like really simple mistakes annoy me. So yeah, I got the idea for this. And well, I mean, you guys can see I've already taken a tower. That's fantastic. Um, Let's go on to try and three crown this guy to really assert my dominance in this game. This actually requires a lot of brain power. So if I randomly stop talking or if I just start a new conversation out of nowhere, that's why it's because I lost my train of thought. Anyway, here we're going to play a Sparky. We're way in the lead, like a ridiculous amount. Now, this second one has a giant, so I could giant up top here to help out the sparky i don't know if i want to do that yet we also got ram rider over here if we want oh okay i didn't mean to do that that's a pretty big mistake i'm not gonna lie you see i was meant to drop the ram rider on the left but i was still holding the giant with my other hand so i let go of both at the same time and that just happened so you know mistakes were made it happens and that's what i mean man it's not as easy as it looks uh on this other side i think i need to play a goblin gang is the best answer uh this account's leaking so let's play something hecker for that royal giant poison on the graveyard we also need to play a Mega mean for this hunter. Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. I think this is going to be game winning push. We play a battle round. We play a baby dragon. We play a musketeer. We snowball. We didn't really hit anything, but we have made contact to the tower and we are doing damage, damage, damage. A bit more and we win the game. Pekka hit the tower please but i think that's good game with the arrows with the poison and boom there we go a three crown in our first game so yeah this has benefits and downsides all at the same time the benefit is obviously there's only me to blame like i'm not losing because of my teammate but the downside is it requires a lot of brain power and sometimes you get muddled up anyway we are going into another game here we are going to try and get ooh, i think it's nine wins and the first choice we're going to pick hog rider i really do not like expos in 2v2 so i'm going to give that to the opponent fire spirits and finally earth Quake. guards or dark goblin i pick guards lightning or snowball i'm going to pick lightning princess or flying machine i think princess and finally minor or valkyrie valkyrie because they have graveyard let's do this i'm going to try and start off with a giant goblin at the back here okay let's actually go with a goblin cage he does play an expo defensively and honestly that's kind of bad for me since um i don't have a great way to deal with that right now i was meant to play a giant goblin on the other account but i did that okay it's fine instead we just lightning we play support we're going to play a princess here for these minions oh we have hog freeze that's really good. Here, I want to log. Okay, we just cleaned up everything. We're actually in the lead when it comes to tower damage, which is awesome. But here, we need to play a skeleton army. Okay, um, Valkyrie on this account. I have nothing for that flying machine. Well, we're just going to, you know, wait a bit. The tower should be able to take out the flying machine. On the other account, we're going to Hog Rider and then get ready with an Earthquake. They tornado it. Okay, I was going to also freeze, but there's no point now. Here, we're going to play a Goblin Cage. On the other account, we're about to hit 10 Elixir, so let's do stuff. We're going to play Guards. I'm going to Lightning, just an Expo in the tower. And 
and I know he's going to try and play a Ram Rider soon. Yep, there's the Ram Rider. There's a Hunter. So we're going to play a Witch, Fire Spirits. We're also going to play a Princess back here. And this might be my Tower Gone. Not the best, not the worst. Honestly, I will live. Oh my, I'm about to leak Elixir. Play a Valkyrie, play that, play a Log, and Freeze. Going to play a Elixir Golem down the other lane. Lightning, start a Witch at the back. Giant Goblin up front here. Other accounts leaking Elixir. See, this is what I mean by it's really hard to do this. Like, you are literally doing everything playing offense, defense, managing two accounts with two separate elixir bars. Like at this point, I'm just spamming down random stuff just so I don't leak elixir and waste a ton of value. But hey, we're actually in a pretty dominant lead. I'm going to try and keep this going. Good lightning value right there. I kind of expected that. Hog Rider made it through the tower. Freeze. That's not enough. Okay, I just need to cycle around to lightning. Actually, witch plus earthquake. That's good. GG. I thought I was going to lose that one. And you guys are starting to see the struggles I'm going through, but that's the eighth win. Let's hopefully get the ninth and we unlock a ice wizard. Believe it or not as well, I find this very fun. It's just something new to the game. Okay, Elixir Golem or Lava Hound. I'm going to pick Lava Hound. Then we're going to pick Minions, Skeleton Bow, and finally Goblin Kang. So I'm going for an air heavy deck like Lava Loon or something is what I'm aiming for for this one. And this is where playing by yourself really comes in handy because you can really well coordinate the pushes and the defense with a big beatdown deck. Okay, so first play of the game, I'm going to play a Skeleton Bow and he goes with an Elixir Golem. Okay, and a Balloon. Well, we are going to do that. Boom. Take out the Princess. Hopefully we can take out that Balloon. We do. That's fantastic. And we are going with a Lava Hound at the back. I'm going to play a Goblin Hut here. He goes with a Mega Knight. That doesn't really help him too much, to be honest. That Baby Dragon's a bit problematic. I'm not going to lie, but we should be okay. Again, I tried to play Bats, but my other hand decide to click and then i try to play an ice golem mixed signals man my brain doesn't work like this normally but hey we got a pretty good push going right now so we're going to rush other lane as well pressure both sides with a graveyard um i do also have poison if i need it doesn't look like it's going to be necessary going to snowball that and hey that's a pretty good dominating lead right now i will take that happily he goes with an elixir collector we have poison so a great answer and i actually want to get ready with another lava hound soon like i said at times like this i really need a con because there's just so much happening and i think now is the time we go with the lava hound so boom lava hound at the back he's going to rush me and honestly that's okay my tower might take a ton of damage but that's fine right now i just want to support this lava hound the best i can boom we took one tower that's fantastic we are going to poison here again just really help out and support that lava hound here we're going to have to snowball away that balloon the elixir golem should also go down soon we are going to start another lava hound at the back it's okay if he takes my tower i'm fine with letting that tower go to be honest i just need to make sure i don't leak too much elixir man especially with an elixir golem this gets very chaotic poison on the tower this should be good game i don't see how i lose from this position really and the skeletons boom 16 hp i got snowball boom wow okay so i probably went very quiet during some of that game there was a lot of decision making but we complete the challenge we actually did this flawlessly we unlock an ice wizard which turns into gold and yeah overall that was awesome way harder than i expected just because you have to manage so many things like i said but yo that's going to wrap it up for today we managed to get nine wins in the challenge and that was the main goal so i really hope you guys enjoy this video something a bit different i know but i didn't want to just bring you guys a boring two v2 giant snowball fight because honestly it doesn't seem that interesting so doing this kind of spices it up so if you guys did enjoy it make sure you guys leave a like of course subscribe if you have not already as always make sure you guys take care brush your hair and peace out Woo!